Yes, guys. Yes, people. Big up everybody that's locked in. Like, subscribe, all of that. Hope you guys had a very good Christmas too. Um, let me know what you guys got. That'll be a good start. Let me know what you guys got for Christmas. Um, is my mic working? Is everything good? Um, I don't think anyone said mute. Yeah, no one said mute. Yeah, so we're all good. We're all good. Big up everybody that's in here. I don't know how long I'm going to be live for. I'm probably only going to be here for about an hour or so. I might send the link out towards the end, but I don't know. I'm only going to just stream a bit of transfer news and then just dip because I've got to head over to Stamford Bridge for the game and everything. Hope you guys are all excited too. If you guys are anxious, uh, I wouldn't blame you, but I'm just trying. I'm in blind positivity mode again. Same vibes from the Arsenal game. I have nothing to go off, but I'm just trying to be positive because we can't fucking lose to Bournemouth. We can't really, really lose to Bournemouth again, can we? We probably can. But I don't want to speak it into existence. I want to be positive. I want to be optimistic. So um, let's just say we're going to smash them 3-0 and we'll move from there. But there is a lot of transfer news to get into. We're going to discuss Jao Felix and everything that came out about him over the last 24 hours. We're going to be talking about Badia Shield and updates on his transfer situation. Um, Emmy Martinez, we're going to talk about that for a little bit. Um, Jorginho has Newcastle interest. That's a new one, but we'll discuss that for a little bit. We'll go into this Kone news as well, because I saw a few of you guys talking about it at the start of the stream. Well, just before I went live. We can delve into that for a little bit, but it is still very early days on that front too, so I can't say too much. We got over 100 of you guys in here. Big up, everybody. Like, subscribe. Um, let me know your thoughts to the Chelsea game as well. We can talk about that for a little bit as well. And yeah, we're just going to wing it for the next hour or so. I am gone by about 3 p.m. 3 p.m., 3.15. I'm wrapping up the stream and I'm off to Stamford Bridge. So yeah, we'll go, we'll go through as much as we can until then. I just didn't stream on Christmas Day. Didn't stream on Boxing Day. I'm not streaming. Well, I wasn't going to stream today, so fuck it. I'm here. I'm here. Um, what else? What is everyone saying? Um, big up, Lewis. Big up yourself, Arja, and hopefully we win today. If not, we are definitely not making top four. I'm surprised this is the game that would be the tipping point for you. Like, I've been saying it since the start of the season. But, yeah, if we don't beat Bournemouth, <laughs> forget about it. Forget about it. If we don't win today, Potter needs to leave. Everyone else won. I want hope after the World Cup to make top six. But, bro, it's not Potter that I need to do something for me. It's the players. I need the players to turn up. I need them to stand up and be accounted for. I need us <coughs> to make chances. I need us to finish chances. I need us not to get bummed in transition. I need no individual mistakes from the defence. And hopefully the goalkeeper bails us out too. But yeah, there's a lot that we're hoping for. Big up Santiago, completely agree, my friend. Big up Francis, saying Felix is an elite baller. I agree, but if we're using him the way it was reported over the last 24 hours, we're, we're not helping him and we are not helping ourselves too. But I will delve into that in a little sec. Um, Yeah, Ryan, we're going to get into that. We will get into that. Um, Big up yourself too, bro. We can't get top four. I don't want a Europa League finish seven for eighth and then play one game a season and win the win the league. Just my opinion. It's not a bad opinion, my friend. It really isn't a bad opinion. Um, twenty-one year old Kuadio Kone. Yeah, we'll, I'm gonna start that. We're gonna come back to that. We're gonna come back to that in a little sec. Today is a good day to be a Chelsea fan. I can feel it. I I want whatever you're feeling, bro. Um. Big up Lewis, still waiting on that Arsenal collapse. Everyone was for sure telling me was coming. It's coming. It's coming. I, I don't know when to tell you. I don't know when to predict, but it's coming. It's coming. And and this is just, I, I, I'm not, we're not talking an Arsenal title race into existence. We're not doing it. I refuse. Uh, come back to me at the end of February. If they're there, 
we'll have some humble conversations. We'll have some humble conversations. But until then, there ain't no title race. I'm not hearing any bollocks on it. I refuse. I refuse to speak an Arsenal title race into existence while we're in this mess. Fuck that. Big up point four four. Um, big up proud to be a Georgie. Um, old habits, Kai Hard saying United are now favourites to get Felix. Yeah, it's not just cut and dry that Chelsea are going to go in and take him. Arsenal are interested. United are interested. I'm sure there's a string of other clubs interested, especially for him on loan. Like, I would be very surprised if there weren't a sea of clubs coming in for him. But apparently, we're in a good position with it. Apparently. Um... Amazon Prime. Yeah, I heard Chelsea might be getting an all or nothing. And I'm here for it. I'm obviously not this season. Thank goodness we don't have that. But if we do that next season, off the Potter's had a good window, we get to see the rise of Graham Potter, 4K, all or nothing settings, brilliant behind the scenes footage. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And also if a few favourites get given the boot, it will be fucking hilarious if you start off with that. Um, Badia Shield's got big bozo and energy. I get, but he's also young, and I've seen some of the errors. But I think it's too early to say that they can't be coached out of his game. And there's still a question over whether he goes straight into our starting lineup or not. I understand the wariness with him. There is a big element of the bozo gene in the player from what I've seen. But at that age, it can still be coached out of the player. So, I, I don't know. I wouldn't write him off just yet. I wouldn't write him off just yet. Henrik Jensen, big up yourself, saying, oh, he's coming to the Kone news as well. Okay, cool. We'll start with this then. We'll start with this. So, Chelsea will be looking to sign at least two midfielders in the next couple of windows. A new name I've been given is Quadio Kone from Borussia Mönchengladbach. I hope I haven't butchered his name. The 21-year-old has been recommended by the new technical director, Christopher Vivell. He can play as a 6 and an 8, has intelligent movement from what I've seen, good at progressive runs, um, looks press-resistant, good in tight spaces. He's good at beating players. Um, he's got decent reading of the game to make interceptions, but from what I've heard, he needs to be better at anticipation as well. Um, apparently his passing isn't that progressive and he needs to be a bit more of an attacking threat though, but he's got all the elements of what could be a brilliant box-to-box -box midfielder if he is coached in the right way. So this feels like another hidden gem sort of transfer and I like it. I like it. I don't know if he goes straight into the first team either, but he fits the mould of what of the sort of player that Chelsea are trying to sign. Under 25, has the PMP factor in him. Obviously, we need a player of that profile in the squad too. I think he's a good move for us. Depends on the price tag. That is like the, the first thing we have to look at. How much is he coming in for? But I see what he could become. I, I do see what he could become. It, it's too early to jump into any conclusions or to say he's going to be the answer to all of our midfield problems. But I do think with a bit of development, I can see why Chelsea would sign him. But let me know what you guys are saying in the comment section anyway, because he's only just come out of nowhere. But a lot of people are already keen on the player from what I've been reading. There's elements of his game that needs to be improved. He's not the finished article by any matter of fact. But I, I see I see the player that he could become. I see the player that he could become. A lot of these signings are... Yeah, this is another investment signing as well. But even with that in mind, like, we need to see what else could be there too. Like, something for now would be nice because we, we, need, we need reinforcements for now as well as for the future. Silva might not stay past this season and is nearing 40. Koulibaly is not for the long term. This presents an argument for Chelsea to need two centre-backs to come in. Silva, I'm not too surprised that if he leaves. Not too surprised. Koulibaly not being a long-term option, like, that is a weird one, because why would we have signed him if he wasn't for that? And, in fact, how long is his contract? Um, He's here till 2026. How is he not a long-term option? That that makes no sense. Obviously, that is just you showing me the news, Henrik. I'm not getting at you with that. But that makes no sense. No sense. 
Um, no new intro, Fraser. Sorry, mate. Yeah, yeah, I, I know. I, my my trim is overdue. F thank you for the reminder, my friend. Thank you. Big up yourself. Um, can we have the international break back? Oh, yeah, shit, you're Leicester, bro. It's been long for you, man. Same old shit, but we move. Um, yeah, bro, I am I am going to the game. That's why we're not streaming for too long. But we will be back afterwards. I had people right in the hoodie. Love to see it. Big up yourselves, my guys. Big up. Um, Ekrem Konur tweet about Jal Felix. Let me have a look. Um... What's he saying? I can't see anything here. On Jao Felix. I don't see anything here. I don't see nothing. Um, alright. This better this better not be anything dead, I swear. Is Chelsea are considering making a move for for Atletico Madrid for Jao Felix, which could see that yeah yeah that's, that was the same stuff we were we we're gonna talk about in a sec anyway. But thanks for that, bro. Appreciate that, Lewis. Don't you think we should keep Jorginho because losing Kante? I would like us to keep Jorginho, but it all depends on what he's asking for too. Like if he's asking for too much, then we're just not gonna keep him, and that's not the club's fault. Like, if he wanted the same wage, if he wanted a small pay rise, fair enough. I think he'd be a decent rotation option for us. And I think he brings some experience to what will be a younger dressing room next season. But if he wants too much, he's got to go. It's as simple as that. I saw Rice body twice by Saka. To be, to be fair, Saka's a quality player. But Rice didn't look good in that second half. He looked terrible. Absolutely terrible. But still, if he's 70, 80 million, I'm still bringing him to Chelsea. So it wouldn't make too much of a difference for me. Positivity is the key to disappointment. Come on, Paul Buff Sage, man. Fucking hell, bro. Yes, bro. I'm going to the bridge to hopefully see a win. Hopefully see a win. Um, Man said you look and keep Jorginho. Fucking hell, man. Stocks are low. <coughs> Watch Zakaria closely. I would like to, if he starts. Big if. What would I do if I lose to Bournemouth? I'd bun a Zubi, go to the pub, drown my sorrows, and I'll set up a stream for tomorrow, and I'm going to just vent from through there. Simple as. Big up Lewis, where are the Kante and Jorginho contracts? Have to see what happens in the next month, my friend. Um, Kante and Jorginho are going to assess their options, but they're also going to see what Chelsea are saying. So we have to play everything by ear with the pair of them. Until then, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Chelsea comfortable 2-0. I hope so. Chelsea 2, Bournemouth 4. I don't hope so. Um, yeah, a new intro will be soon. It will be soon. Lewis, you'll be muddered when Kai Mount and Felix stands find you. Bro, you won't find the three of them on the pitch if they play together. Fucking four play FC if that's our front three. God forbid. I do not want to see that. For Felix should be your Havertz replacement. Felix should be coming in and you should be looking at Kai and saying, this is your replacement if you don't pattern up in the next six months. Then you play them against each other. See who breaks out out of the two. If it's Felix, then we go in for a permanent fee. If if it's not and it's Havertz, Felix goes straight back to Atletico. That's the way it should be. This whole waffle that I saw about play Felix on the wing and play Havertz as a centre forward. It's, it's nearly 2023 and we're still doing this shit. Come on, man. Felix should be coming in to replace Kai. I've been saying that. Don't play them together. And then you're going to add Mount on top of that. Or you're going to have Felix in there. Like, what, three second strikers? 
I, I saw someone on Twitter make a joke saying there's more SSs in that squad than in Germany in the 40s. God forbid. Do not bring that shit to my club. Felix is fine. I would happily bring Felix to the club, but don't play them together. Or especially the three of them. It makes no sense to me. No sense. Um, I'm so far behind on the comments. Let me see. Man saying Zuma 2.0 on Badia Shield. Too early to say, bro. Too early to say. I'm so far behind. I'm only getting to the Kone talks. Right. Kone's decent. Interesting one. It depends on the price tag for me. If he's at an affordable price, I am fine with it. I am fine with it. Um, if it's too much, like again, if we go into the 70 to 100 million range, I'm not going to be with it. But I doubt he would cost that much. This should be something that's about under 30. Um, next game, January 1st. Yeah, Nottingham Forest away. I'm going to be so hanging from New Year's, but we move. Thoughts on Gakpo to Liverpool? I guess they're already done with Darwin Nunes. Not too surprised. Absolutely bodied Man United out of the talks, but the game is the game. Um, Kula Bali is too old for the Boli and Clear Lake project. Again, I can't judge him too much until he's had a bit more time to adjust to the Premier League. Until then, I'm not saying too much on his name. Um, CFC sent. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll have a look at that. I'll save that. CFC Central. Um. All right. Cool. What what's he saying? Kone was on my list of centre mid signings last year. End up watching a lot of him. Technically skilled centre mid, who I'd say stands out ball carrying. Yeah, I read the same thing as well. Also a high volume, high quality ball winner who can test a lot of duels and offers a good degree of press resistance. However, he looks best next to a more conservative presence such as Zakaria, Kramer, and and Weigel. Um. Ah, right, yeah. Um. Well, sir, isn't tasked with winning the ball in the attacking third very often and being asked to do so pose a good challenge. Flaws as well, losing the ball too often by dribbling when he shouldn't and over-reliance on using his right foot for dribbling, turning. Again, it just seems like a bunch of things that could get coached out of his game. But got to see how much he costs, got to see the role that we'd keep him in. Chelsea interested in Theo Hernandez. That's a new one. Let me know what you guys are saying on that one. I'll come back to that in a little sec. No way people... People have wanted Jorginho gone for years. I've just given up on that one. I think he's good depth for us, and that's it. Lewis, will you still protect Potter if we hold four to Bournemouth? God forbid, but... I mean, you have to see how the game goes. It depends on his decisions. Depends on the lineup. Depends on a lot of factors. If he's to blame, I'm going to call him out for it. If it's individual mistakes, then I don't know. I don't know. There's a lot in that. Hey, big up Nathaniel. Nathaniel's back. Let's go. I'm back and I want Felix to replace Mason mid. Felix will be replacing Habits, though. Not Mount. Come on, man. Mount never leaves the lineup. Um, Felix Havertz Ziyech. That is an abysmal front three. That is, that is horrific. Do you think Potter should start Amari Hutchinson? Ye um, I'd like to, but I don't think he will just because of lack of experience. I would be very surprised if he did that. As long as he's on the bench, I'm happy. And give him a couple minutes. Oh, oh no. Here we go. Shut up, man. Kai Havertz held this team up last season, even though he got outscored by Lukaku, who gave up on this squad in January. Shut up, man. Waffle merchant. Oh, what has he? What has he done over the last eighteen months, other than miss big chances and dive? Get out of here, bro! Let this guy play well and then come to me. Don't waffle to me about bullshit about how he helped us last season when he didn't. He held us back. Nineteen big chances missed, but you want to talk about held up the team last season? What a load of ass! I got outscored by Mount. <laughs> you want to chat, man? I got outscored by Lukaku. And we want to do this. Let's not do this. You still stand Christensen who has left. Why not let people support whoever they want? People can support whoever they want. 
You're just not going to throw your bullshit opinions in my face when you're backing players who haven't performed well over the last six to eight months. When Christensen was playing like shit, I was saying bench him. Last season, after the Arsenal 4-2 loss, I said I didn't want him in the squad for the rest of the season. If you're a stand of a player that's playing like shit and you still want them to start games, you are a problem. Simple as. If there's better options as well. Um, Koulibaly's here for the paycheck. Well, I mean, he got given a very good paycheck, to be fair. But Koulibaly was linked to Chelsea for years. He was linked to Chelsea for years. Thoughts on Victor? I haven't I haven't researched him enough. I'm gonna be real. So I'm not gonna waffle about him. Once I ha once I've done a bit more research on him, or if there's deeper links to the player, I'll come back with a bit more information. As of right now, I don't know enough. I don't know enough. Um, how was your holidays? Holidays was good. Just drank, drank and kept on drinking. Same vibes for today. Same vibes for today. Um, a lot of people interested in Fio Hernandez. I like the sign. I like the side of that. I like that. The lineup, I'm expecting that to be underwhelming. Well, I mean, with all our midfield options, it's not going to look good anyway, bro. It's not going to look good. Thoughts on bringing back the Belgian Mark Henry? Keep that rat as far away from my club as possible. I'm good. I am good. They're not getting Felix. Fight. I mean, I wouldn't blame you for thinking that. We're just linked as well as a bunch of other clubs. Have to see what happens. He could easily end up at another club. Um, Havertz outscored... I swear Mount outscored him in all competitions. Wasn't Mount our highest goal scorer? I swear Mount was our highest goal scorer. I mean, I might be wrong, but... I swear he had more. Yeah, they're both they're both not good enough anyway. I don't care. Mid off. Um, what else? Everyone's saying Lukaku's value dropped at least twenty million this World Cup. I wouldn't be surprised if Inter send him back. I really wouldn't be surprised. Uh <coughs> Lewis attack Felix slash Havertz and Cuckoo slash Sterling and Hutchinson. I mean that looks a lot better. That looks a lot better. Um, Hutchinson still would be a bit unrealistic. I could probably see him as a bench option unless he really breaks out towards the end of the season. And Cuckoo or Sterling? Um, I'd say Felix slash Havertz and Cuckoo and Sterling slash Hutchinson. That would be the one for me. <coughs> um, big up Nippon. Big up yourself, bro. We got over 300 of you guys in here. Do we have 100 likes? Do we have 100 likes? I bet we don't. I bet we don't. 84. We're close, but we're still not there yet. Hit the like button, people. Hit the like button, my guys. Um, Guys, stop asking about Chelsea targets. They're all 23 and under and no one has watched them play. But you can still do the research. You can still research on the player, but you have to be real as well. I ain't watched Bundesliga football like that. I can't tell you too much about Kone. I can tell you what I've seen. I can tell you what I've researched. That's about it. We have a super chat. We have a super chat. Let's go. I'm not convinced with Theo Hernandez. Did you see how Saka skinned him? In? Yeah, but Saka's a good player. Let, let's be real, bro. Saka's probably the best right winger in the league. I don't think there's any shame in getting done by him. Fio Hernandez is a quality player. He's one of AC Milan's best players. I don't know if we need to be going for another left back with, with the fact that we have Chilwell and Cucurella already. But if he's a decent fee, maybe. But it probably means Chilwell's leaving if that happens. Appreciate the super chat, though. Big up. Big up. Big up. Um, Lukaku was the highest goal scorer last season in all comp. Well, 15. Fuck you now. No, it was Lukaku, then Havertz, then Mount. In all competitions. Fair enough. Fair enough. I thought it was Lukaku, Mount, then Havertz, but ah, doesn't matter. Um, I'm not, yeah, I don't need to go too deep into that. Um, 
Yeah, that that's on him. He took a seven year contract with Simeone ball. He can hold that. But if he has a good loan spell at Chelsea, if he comes to Chelsea, it'll be a good it will be a good move for us. But that's still my habits replacement. Um, what would be my lineup? I'd go 4-3-3. Three, three. Um Kepper's fit, so I'd go with Kepper. James Silva, Chalaba, and Cucarella. I'd go Jorginho, Zakaria. No, Zakaria. Yeah, Jorginho, Zakaria, Gallagher. I was going to say Mounts just off instinct, but Gallagher or Chukumeka. If it actually, if it's my lineup, yeah, I'm going Chukumeka. And then I'm going. Pulisic, Abamyang, and Hutchinson. That would be my lineup. Obviously, not the one that the manager would pick, though. Um, Ryan, shut up, bruv. Big up yourself, but don't even bring this negative energy onto my stream, bruv. Big up yourself, though. Bournemouth, not walkovers, but they're on a worse record than us. Ain't they not won in like nine league games? Like, come on, we can't be that bad. I mean, we probably are, but we can't be that bad. I like, seriously, if we can't be Bournemouth convincingly, yeah, just pack it all in. Pack it all in. Um, Chelsea have been chasing Josco Vardiol as their dream signing for the back line. This is far from done, and Chelsea are still in talks to try and get something done for him. Vardiol and Badia Shield would just what would be the point? If if we're still going in for Vardio, then I don't get bad issue. I don't get that. And then it just guarantees Colwell's leaving as well. And I'm not going to be like, oh, no, we shouldn't get rid of Colwell at any cost. Like, whatever happens, happens. But you're going to have three left-footed centre-backs. Two, I understand. Because they'll just compete for the same position. And we're getting ready to play in a back four more consistently. But three? Because Vardio will be guaranteed the star, and then Badia Shield will be the. Maybe we're just bringing them both in and we're going to bin off Colwell. But then why did Potter take Colwell for Brighton last season? I don't know. It, it doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe we're just putting our, our fingers in a lot of different hats, I guess, and we're just picking out whichever one works. I don't know. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Best right wing. Yeah, oh yeah, I forgot about Salah, but you could still hold that anyway. I don't care. I don't care. Um, yeah, yeah, that's why Theo don't make too much sense. It doesn't make a lot of sense. Um, anything else in the comment? The last one was against... Oh, fucking hell, you lot have been mudded this season, bruv. Shit. And we played Leicester this season. No, I don't even remember. Don't even remember. Um, I hate to hear these players crap about players can't handle the physicality. If you're qual, no, no, no. But physicality is a factor, and that's one of the things with Felix. I don't know if he has the physicality to last in the Premier League either. Quality shows in spaces, but like, especially when you're dealing with low blocks every other week, physicality is a factor. It is, it is a very big factor. So I understand the concerns about that. Um, Do I miss Tuchel? Of course I miss Tuchel. Every Chelsea fan miss, misses Tuchel. But he ain't coming back. So it is what it is. We just got to move on from it. <coughs> Cole will showed really, ain't really showed anything compared to Badia Shield or, or Vardiol. No, I hear that. I hear that. It would just be a bit confusing having three left-footed centre-backs, but he'd probably be the one that leaves. So it is what it is. We can't guarantee you... See yeah, but that's not the be-all, end-all. That really isn't. It can be a factor if they really want it, but Vardiol's been in the UCL. Chelsea will be back in the UCL. He would just be a part of it. We wouldn't be able to guarantee Champions League when Tuchel was here. So it doesn't make too much of a difference. Big up yourself, bro. Did have a good Christmas. I hope you did as well, my friend. Hope you're all good. Nice to see you in here again. Um, 
Last batch day vlog for the year. Let's hope we end on a win. Let's hope we end on a win. Um, right, I'll send the link out for a little bit, but I'm off as soon as we hit 3 p.m. But I'll send the link out now and I'll see who's about. Might be nice to have a little conversation. Bear with me for a sec, though, because this shit is just moving along again. Oh, yeah, and hit the like button. And hit the like button. That would be nice. Still keep the Christmas spirit and everything. Oh, right. We'll see who's about. See who is about. Oh, shit. Now there's a few other people on the other Twitter. Can't be arsed. Oh, shit. Carlito wanted a link. Nice. Yeah, cool. That's a Nova. Um, right. Yes, guys. What are you all saying? What are you all saying? What's up, everybody? I'm, I'm all good. good. Everyone had a good Christmas? Yeah, man. Good, good. How, about you? <laughs> How is everyone feeling for the Chelsea game today? You guys confident or what are you guys saying? <laughs> uh, I'm glad they're playing. Up, like what was that? Yeah. So I'm glad they're playing at least, you know, it'd be nice. It's been a while since we've got to watch them play, but I wouldn't say I'm like over the moon excited uh, about what we're going to watch. Yeah, I'm expecting low block FC to make a nice <laughs> little return, but Fair hey, off. you never know. We might take our chances. We, we might take our chances. Um, Felix on loan. I'm guessing everyone's all down for the loan, but what role would you want to see him in and who would you want to see him play around? Creator compared to striker. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd like, I'd love to do the deal. Like the loan would be, it'd be a great deal to do. I don't think we're going to end up doing it. Just have a feeling that's not going to happen. But uh, yeah, I'd play him like as a, it's like a ten or a work. Kai Havertz plays. So I'd play him right in behind the striker and in between two wingers. So what you feel like? He's just not going to pick Chelsea, or do you think another club's going to come in? We're not going to offer the same amount. What were you feeling? Um, yeah, I just I don't know. I just think uh, if other clubs are willing to spend more money on the obligation to buy portion, then I think that's probably where he'll end up. And I don't know what Chelsea's plan is as far as like a contract term and length and how much they're willing to spend uh, as part of the obligation. Uh, they have Atletico were saying some stupid, crazy number like 130 million. That will never happen. Yeah, um, but yeah, let make his money back. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> to have no, to play. He's, he's, he's a great bad, town, yeah. but, but I have I no of, clue. I kind of agree with Joss. I think other clubs are going to be more desperate than we are to get a player like him at the moment. Yeah, That's unfortunately, we'll, they'll beat us to it. Yeah. Who's yeah. desperate? Like I, like I would play like if he was on the team right now. Like I would play probably like a front. Four, I do Pulisic on the left wing. I do Felix as a ten, Sterling on the right wing, and Aubameyang up top. Like that's how that's where I play. Oh, that's him. beautiful. That's beautiful. But, but I, I just can't feel it. I can't see it happening. I, Josh, I'm not, I'm not Josh, optimistic right now. Josh, I think Lewis and Andrew will collapse 
if uh, Joe Felix and Kai Havertz play on the same field together. And you know what? Hey, guess what, Lewis? Guess what, Lewis? I'm here for all of it, baby. I'm here for all of it. You guys well, are well, You don't want to see the progression of our beautiful football club? <laughs> I think you're a hater, and I think you're going to die on this hill. That's it's just going to be a bunch of, it's just gonna be a bunch of silky no one touch and then getting bro. pushed off the ball. <laughs> silky, uh, silky how, how one I touch, hate, silky one touch, and then they get pushed off the ball. You Fake and silk, that's all it is. Are anti Kai propagandists. It's not silk, it's wool, bro. Yeah, because he sucks. <laughs> all right, wool, wool, touch. Whatever you want to call it. Nothing silky about it, man. It's not a silky about it. The only Born, thing man. silky is how we managed to evade criticism from half the fan base after every game. Right, two goals after the World Cup game. Two goals. goals. We got like carpet. Two what? You guys, two you goals in a World this? Cup game. What against a tired Costa Rica side? Right, that even hey, we watched that. that game together. It was an important game, kind of, Did, not really. Yeah, yeah. Guys, I think uh, I had to wait until they were drained, and he came off the bench to do anything. Yo, those so are called garbage team time seven minutes, nil, bro. Garbage. And they didn't beat guys... anyone else in the entire tournament, but you want to hype Costa Rica up to me. That's right. You guys, my you guys see the stat. Have some what's, what's that? What's my friend. Have some shame, my friend. You guys see doing? the stat that, uh, that, uh, that uh, what's his name? Potter is the first manager in the whole of the Roman era to get to to be seventy one days without a win. The Roman that's era. Bad. Oh, that's ridiculous. Come since on, the Roman, era. Era. the Roman era, bro. That that's gone, bro. Yeah, but I'm saying since the Roman era began, it's the first manager to have seventy one days without a win, man. Okay, so there's only one the other manager. That's man, Kai, Kai, shameless guy. Not, bro, not even but World Cup tax. The World Cup was only for two manager. weeks, Louis. There's only the one of your managers. <laughs> the one you stink. I can smell you from here, bro. <laughs> that, that's wild. That was wild. That That's a very wild. That one. is horrific. That, that is How ridiculous. long was the World that's Cup? That's like that guy off weeks. Twitter who tried to say um, Potter Ball. The World Cup was 45 days. Hey, Mr. Alex, how are you? Yeah, I think, we, I think we've lost three in a row in the Premier League, right, Moyan? I'm fine. Oh, yeah. Good, yeah. If we good, lose good four in, in a row, it's the first time so since 1990. Take, take those 45 days and add to uh, what, like three weeks to that. So it's yeah, probably worse. Uh, it's much worse. Man. I, I, I'm pretty. I'm actually pretty confident today. I'm pretty confident. Whatever we're gonna see, we'll see it. But I'm pretty confident. I don't know why. Are you? Are you? St- are you still? Are you still? Are you still drunk from from Christmas, Moyo? That's probably why. Maybe that's why. <laughs> too, too many mimosas. I'm confident. Too, many mimosas. So okay. too much eggnog, bro. You've been enjoying the eggnog. Do not too much, man. That's why, man. You're still. My goodness, man. you sound like a New York housewife at brunch. Mimosa. What are you drinking? <laughs> hey, hey man, it's good, life. Man. Okay. Nice, man. Yeah, man. Don't 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 judge from afar, man. Hey, judge Alex and Josh, how are we feeling about today, guys? <laughs> Alex, I'm just no, excited. Man. I'm just excited. Chelsea's back. So yeah, man. Yeah. Me too. Me too. I have bro. zero expectations for yeah. giving myself. I'm, I'm ready. Speaking an upper hand I'm ready. into existence. If he plays, if he plays, might as well see Gallagher, Mount, and uh, what's it? Oh. What was that? The, 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 the yeah. front three, man. Put it this way: like a few of the lineups that I've seen this morning from fans yeah, yeah. has have made me even less optimistic. People I are like still put, people are still putting Mount and Gallagher in the on the field at the same time. They're yeah. still putting That's... Gallagher, Mount, and Havertz on the field at the same time. Josh, I like the lineup you sent over to us. That was really good. Oh uh, yeah, but it's not gonna. I have like again, I'm giving up complete hope. Uh, Oh, you know he's going to throw Azpilicueta in there just to piss me off personally. <laughs> you know he's going to do it. Well, let's see. Mouse, Mouse, Mount is on pace today would be his 150th start for Chelsea, so he'll definitely play him just so he can have a little bit of a moment. He can talk about it at the back of the game in the press conference. He can say, well, you know, Mason likes to play today with his 150th game. He so likes we had to, to play in the games. <laughs> we had to run him out there. He likes football. He likes to play. He likes to that's, play That's why games. we got him. <laughs> to play the game. Father will never boy. live that down. He will never live it down. Oh man! Unless he drops him out. Oh, oh I, I would love go it. a long way. Yeah, he's Johnny. Not, not Johnny, Johnny, Johnny no, Minerals no. would expire. Slap him. Man. He doesn't have those brass oh. Southgate balls, baby. He doesn't have them. <laughs> I was. Yeah. Uh, I saw pictures of Johnny posting. He's on holiday. Why is he oh, looks yeah, it was like birthday the... yesterday? Big yeah. up, Jody. Happy birthday if you're watching, G. Why does the guy looks like he's... Uh, I don't like know, he makes like... gyros for a living, man. That's what he looks like. No, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck 
Fucking There's hell, back back <laughs> back home. We have we have people that uh, we have crazy. we have a specific name of people back home. Like they unload the trains. Like the oh, the, Jesus, criminals. No, <laughs> Josh, that's what I was going for. But I waited for Alex. <laughs> Alex, you. <laughs> Happy birthday to Johnny. Happy birthday to Johnny. If you no, want, happy birthday, if Johnny. Happy birthday, brother. If you walked into my establishment in that black hat and black jacket, I'd have it in out. That's all. I'm saying. No, no, no. What I'm saying, what I'm saying is like it's it's a uh, it's a stereotype of Russian people due to another person specifically. We call them like literally we, uh, like grushiki, the guys that offload the trucks for the stores, like those kind of people you know like we have a rough life like you know what i'm saying like not <laughs> he, he does he does he does look like he does minimum wage bro i get i get what you're talking i'm not about. gonna lie in one of those in one of those pictures i saw he does look like he was unloading stuff i mean he wasn't yeah that's anything. what i'm but he was yeah. standing right next to like a, a pallet of stuff and i'm like oh is this where you work Josh, that's what i was trying thinking. to say not in a bad way like he's in damn tifa yeah uh, he would be more on the right side if it was. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> With his conspiracy theories, come on. We're we talking about like a false flag operation. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't think John looks like a liberal, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Big up, big up, Johnny. Anyway, big up, big up, Brian. Big up, Brian. Hey, Alex, 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 what do you think about this? What do you think about Smoltry Gladbach player Kane? We're uh, we're linked with. Yeah, he's good, man. He's good, Dad. Yeah, 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 he's good. yeah. He looks decent. Very good. Looks really yeah. decent. Yeah. Man, Noah seems to love him. So uh, yeah, uh, I got a. I, I mean, he's just right. He's just legal we, enough to drink as well, man. So yeah. perfect for Chelsea, bro. Are we like out of the Enzo talks? Are we not going for him anymore? Dude, nah. okay, so two, I haven't heard anything clubs. on Enzo in a few days. I they want 120 million. Is that the Mexican that. guy? Uh, that's the uh, no, that's Argentine. Edson Alvarez. There's no, Argentine. Lewis, Lewis, it just they happened got, this morning. Have... Two clubs have bid 127 million for Enzo Fernandez. 127 million. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> two English clubs or two clubs? Uh, two clubs. Oh, I don't think that'll be Chelsea. I don't think that'll be Chelsea. No, no we're, we're, we're not. We're not. We're not, else. We're not Ryan, you, Ryan, you got to let the price tag thing go, man. It's in today's in, in today's in today's game. Like, it, prices never go down no, over time, Josh, right? Josh, but what they're doing is the same thing. They the do. Nobody actually paid anything that the people, uh, the clubs asked for. Josh, they are None. doing with the same thing that the Uber driver. Yeah, those did huge figures year. never actually never go actually wrong. go right. Exactly, those prices oh. always. Well, not in a lump sum, but over the time Felix they have to get paid. No, no, no. Where did the Felix Ruben no. just come from, man? It's like the, it's just come out of nowhere, man. <laughs> Even Sanchez, the Sanchez was uh, to United was originally yeah. over 180 when they were saying it, it, no way. Yeah, I mean, Dortmund, especially happen. Dortmund, especially Dortmund, yeah. they never stick to the price. They always drop half of it. I, I but, think every, Dallas, everybody gets so hyped up about the World Cup. I gotta remember, uh, remember James Rodriguez going for like 80 million to Real Madrid right after the World Cup. Man, these teams try, these teams try to be slick. And double the price tag just because people are still in a World Cup yep. fog. You know, I just I don't I'm not interested in that. First of all, it's good. not gonna be no big 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 uh, amounts of sales in the January window. January window specifically, it's overpriced. It's too, a really so. good point because well, we've never had it, right? Well, I mean, what do you? We've already no, had. We, no, no, no. The, we we're shopping a different market. We're shopping in the. The in the market, market yeah, it, it, in the market where Johnny works. Yeah, we're at Toy Boys. Hey, to say, I don't think they. I don't. I don't I think, think they. Is, think what I'm saying, saying is, it's going to be like, a busy window. Alex, I mean, the gas already signed with Liverpool. They, by the way, like I did not game. meant. I did not meant the way you people thought. I swear, I did not meant the way. No, no, I, I Alex, I, I meant, meant like, it like because he store. looked like. Yes, me. you did, bro. Yes, no, I did. Uh, no, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I do not believe he's that guy that people like. He's the guy that sits in the bushes. I don't believe it. I'm just saying, like, uh, like we're not shopping in the market with, um, with Twitter feeds. Like, I don't think a market scouts don't work for the Twitter accounts. And look, oh, let's see who's the highest uh, trending name at this moment. Because all of these panelists 
on the YouTubes and everything and stuff like, oh yeah, this guy is good, this guy is good. Like seriously, like I will be less excited about any name that people come up on the Twitter. Yeah, less. I, I will say, I think I, I think we signed maybe one first team player in January. I just hope Young, somebody in the midfield. Coming, I just coming. hope I'm somebody in the midfield on a deeper position. Uh, I know. That's, I know. The, that's the that's only thing I'm worried for. Because we're looking at, we're seeing forwards coming in, defenders. I'm not seeing nothing about a midfield. I have a hand. Exactly. Like, we just, young, the, we the, just had yeah. Chelsea, bro. I have we that just hand. had a thing this morning, right? Kone, he's just 20 years old. That's yeah. all. We'll, we'll get a midfield. Yeah, yeah, but that's the investment one. I want something in the Well, that's not going to happen. I think Livia is the one that we're looking for and going to get, but we're not going to get him in January. We're only going to get him in the summertime. So even he's 20 now. So I'm not like, here, here's the thing. Like, I think Chelsea fans and my, myself included need to get this under. We're, we're the days of us, like, I think buying names is over. Like, what? I think you don't, don't want McAllister. The, the club has shown, I think the club has shown, and they've done. You can just look at the history of what we brought in so far. Everything we buy going forward is for the future. I don't think we buy any big name first team guys to come in right away and make an impact. Every th everybody that we buy in January and in the summer are going to be young guys that they want to build for the future. I think God. that's absolutely what they've shown. God. I don't think it's it's Kuku, us, and don't you see it? included in that because he's only what twenty four years old or something like that. So Josh, I have to say one thing, bud. You're not look. We, you and I both agree that they're going to buy guys under twenty five, but I don't think every single one is going to be an emerging name instead of an actual name. But I will say this, and you and I, you, I know you agree with me on this. Buying a name does not necessitate buying quality. You're just buying someone that's the flavor of the week. Like, I mean, like a name, dude, Lukaku was a name. Alvaro Morocco. Was Why are you name. taking a well, diss at Kai? Yeah. Buying a young guy doesn't mean there's quality you're coming when, when, oh, when I say quality. Buying the flavor of the month board signings that people don't want, well, I never. <laughs> oh, <laughs> let me tell you something right now. Kai's going to come good. You guys, fuck all of you. Oh, yeah, leaders. just see it. I just, I just <laughs> see something in the player, man. I just see it. Oh, on his when, day, man. On his day. I when do. I do. Thank you, Lewis. I was, We're not being condescending. <laughs> I, I was actually. <laughs> when I, when I, I, was actually bad. When I just I feel bad for the wheelchair kids behind the goal, man. They're always in danger, man. Every I time was Malcolm talking Hammer about this ball, guy, actually. Right? I was talking about this guy, actually. Oh yeah, same. The what? fake, what the do? fake, the fake check uh, guy. Not the. Uh, yeah, hey man, <laughs> if I'm a fake, if I'm a fake check, bro. <laughs> We're he cannot four. even come out. You see, your brain is not fast enough, man. <laughs> you can't come out with this with this shit immediately. It's a specialty over, tools. My wife regrets it. <laughs> when I when I say My when I say a name, when I say we're not going to buy a name, I don't. I mean established guys in their prime. I don't yeah. think we're going to buy those guys anymore. It's going to be all develop young guys who have potential, who they can develop, who they can exactly. turn into potentially. Uh, Kuku was a name, though. A, a, a name. name though. We we're we're going to be guy, guys that we might potentially either, make. Guy. Yeah, he was a name. Uh, nope. all of, almost all of Europe wanted him. The only reason uh, why I think Kuku was, was a name. Kuku was a name, but it wasn't like established name either. Yeah, he won. Agreed. He won the German League MVP. He's the name. Yeah, he's mm. in Everybody wants well, I mean, he's running the whole the reason we signed yeah. him early. Hold on a second. Who was, the, was the, who, the What the other German frauds that we bought that was the names? Well, who was our he's biggest competition? Who was our biggest competition for him? Anybody? Byron was wanted him. him. Byron wanted him. <laughs> did they? Did they? Well, yes, they did. Yes, they nobody did. Nobody wanted him. Like Kuku. everything else, they wanted. They wanted. The but team Liverpool. Liverpool is the only team that was actually looking for Kuku's potential. It's I'm it. not saying he's not a good player. Yeah, I'm just saying yeah, we weren't, we, saying we weren't, we weren't, guys, guys we weren't up against him. anybody for him, to be honest with you. But so Josh, does we, competition what, equate how big of a name they are? I don't think so. I, I, I think so. Uh, I yeah, actually I think, think so. The competition well, shows how much of I the name the player yeah, is. Alex. Well, well, look, look at, from behind. Look at like a guy like Lee, look at a guy like uh, who, I mean, who shit? Look at a guy like Felix. We've already got United's in on him, Arsenal's in on him. There, there's now other big clubs who are looking at this kid at the same time we are. Look at Jao, look at uh, Rafael Leao. He, there's other big clubs who would come That's get him if they could. That's United right. wanted the Cuckoo. United wanted the Cuckoo. Bayern no. wanted the Cuckoo. I think if yeah. Yeah. Where, where's that? Where's Look, that report? Bayern wants just every Googling, player, bro. every MVP uh, from Germany last year. 
Bayern won the MVP player. player from the previous uh, previous is, uh, year in Germany. Alex, there is literally there's a reason there is a reason we decided to pay money for him instead of as a release yeah. clause early. We decided yeah. to pay more money for him so we can get him. But so Alex, a release are you clause. saying that's true? Get out of the way so we don't fight competition. Jesus, Jesus. Alex, you know are you saying that we uh, are you saying that we should regret buying him because Nkuku is real good, man. He is brilliant, man. Look, it's better than all of our attackers. No, 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 neither one of us like, said that. We just said we're not. Yeah, I don't think I don't I don't, I don't think he has the same name in the world of market, for example, as Felix. Even Felix. Oh, oh yeah, he does. Yeah, but Felix is a big popular. name in the, in the market. That's man. what he I'm was... trying to tell you, you freaking fake Czech yeah, but Republic guy, man. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man, Josh. That actual name. He's a big name. That's why other big clubs are in on him right now, and it's not just us trying to get a six-month loan. United want him. Arsenal want him. There are other big-name clubs going after him right now, just like we are. It's not a one. It's not a one. I think you guys. My English is not. One at a time, guys. Alex, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Before the World Cup, would you have considered Vardiol a big name? No, and I don't consider him big name even now. Yeah, but but Moya to that point. Before the World Cup, Moya. Before the World Cup, I know I'm consistent. Find okay, the kite. He's inconsistent. Offer obligation, well, here's my, I am very you know, Here's my man. counter to that is before the World Cup, <laughs> very aside from us, bro. who was in on Bardio? The only consistent was, you is us. you literally have I'm, a, I'm, I'm as consistent as yeah, Johnny Bush. You're right. Bro. Jesus. I mean, right, and not from, only was it us, we, it was for, us. Josh, it, from what it, we know, though. But, yeah. but yeah. what we, we know is that as from us, we at least had an offer and deal in place to buy him in the summer. Which they yeah. said, which Leipzig came back and said, you know, hold on, we want to wait. But we were the only ones in on this guy before the World Cup. Obviously, after the World Cup, now City want him, Real want him, all these big fucking clubs want him. But it's it's to the same point. Like, was he a big name? No, not particularly because he's a young player. But we were the only ones in on him at the time. So, hey, Josh, but, I think that we fair need enough. To, I think that we need. Now to we're signing somebody between... last last oh, year whoa, whoa, instead, whoa, whoa, man, whoa, whoa, whoa. Monaco. Oh man, Josh, I want to say that we. I think we need to distinguish between a big name and then just a youthful prospect because there is somewhere in between where it's a good player that's just been scouted well and it's not exactly as popular like i'm even tesco's in the chat Lewis. like like first that's team why players feel up though. that are just not as popular like this benoit badia shield from as monaco i haven't seen him but maybe he is a good player but i mean shit, yeah. i haven't seen him is that okay right? but he's definitely not a name though God damn. No, he's not 21. a name why he ha go ahead, Alex. What do you got? No, I'm saying like, why are we considering like a big name when we're shopping in a literally in the kiddie pool for the players? <laughs> well, I just think we're trying to scout better. Alex. Cape. <laughs> 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 Fucking Kinderland, bro. That's how it is, man. Yeah. <laughs> so how how are we gonna consider like? Fucking hate people. Well, like Seriously. Alex, like look at look at what Julian Alvarez was bought for by my my Man City. He was bought because he was scouted, and people just didn't know him. He is Julian Alvarez, good player, right? But he was scouted, and he was paid for by a price that probably isn't what. Yeah, I know. Would be this is exactly yes. I agree with you. Yeah, and watch yeah. that scouting. Same scouting got them grillish. Oh come on, that's different. Also that's got them just. <laughs> Why them not? Just this is exactly what I'm actually saying. Well, you need both the them. name versus the name versus actual knowledge of the thing. That's why I don't like. Look, people say like, oh, watch. I never watched in Cuckoo like two times in the Championship League, and it's it. How the hell am I gonna say that I, I like the player I don't like? Alex, we got to get that scout from City that scouted that fallen guy. He's yeah, a good yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> we need to get that same scouter that got us Lukaku, that scouting guy. Whoever saying, whoever saying, if you, for example, do you think Liao, whoever gets Liao, is that a proper scouting? No, I'm no, scouting top players is not hard. I'm talking about scouting diamonds in the rough. Diamonds in the rough, the way that Lester did with N'Golo Conte. That is what I'm talking about, because that's actual scouting. Going that on YouTube and rough, saying, I... going on fucking YouTube and saying, oh, this is a really good player. No shit, dickhead. Everybody knows these are good players. I'm talking about I'll good I'll tell you what. There's the only one time I saw a guy that actually shit even on highlights, and that's the guy that we just linked with Monaco guy. 
Well, oh, buddy is chill. You saw the fail. He, I actually googled him and I actually looked at YouTube highlights, and he even looks worse on the YouTube highlights. Yeah, he, oh, he, he's okay. a panic buy. He's a panic buy. Yeah, buddy is chill as a little. Why? Bit of a why? Problem. What? Hold on a second. Like what kind of panic buy if you buy 20, 20 second center back? <laughs> what kind of panic buy is that, guy? Please tell hey, me. I'm not a fan of. I'm not a fan of it, man. But what can no, you do, so man? why are you saying it's, it's a panic buy then? It, it Kai, is a panic buy. They, they want. Kai, to, are you they trying to, to say because he's left footed? They all oh, just let's find the next left footed guy who's like somewhat rated. No. Why are you calling it because... panic buy when we have literally 22 center backs? Mm, okay, so <laughs> we I do think have we might... play, but... Lewis. Lewis, we may have 21 yep. center backs because the uh, there are some rumblings that the board. Is frustrated with Kaladu Koulibaly. Any, any I didn't thoughts see on that? that? I think it's a bit mm. early for that. Oh, yeah, I'm by the way, with the I board, agree with you, but like, what there is look, reports are not made up. There's always a kernel of truth, even in Sun reports, even in Daily Mail reports. Mm -hmm. I love Koulibaly and I want, I want to give him at least two years, but I mean, look, if the rumblings are coming out. There could be something at least there. A little bit something. Little uh, something. Yeah, I just think it's very naive from them. You signed them for five yeah. years and you put them on yeah. nearly 300k a week just to be done after three months. It, make, it's, it it makes no sense. Yeah, and yeah, it's also probably, you better can be not good be until you're 35. It's, it's, it's also the same people exactly. who want to give like seven or five year contracts to players who's been fucking in a bad form since the beginning of the fucking season. Yeah, and you know what that's what is. I hey, cool the ball he's got this man. much and you don't want to give Mount that amount. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this this my man, this no wonder we're eighth. But anyway man. Exactly. Hey! Big up Miguel bro saying apparently Vardio's release clause is 110 mil, hence why Badia Shiel I understand why we are withdrawing. We need to prioritize other areas. But, bro, I'm not hearing that we're withdrawing. We that's could be a going lie. Into Th that's, that's a lie. That's a lie. It's not 110 mil. Yeah, we're not his, withdrawing. His that's release class was 60 last year. That is How his release class are going up now? It's yeah, a it's fake. All. That's a lie. It's so, a fake well, Trump news. Well, if, if it's Miguel, 85 million sorry, pounds, man. then it's, it's I appreciate the donation. His release class was 65 last season. And this season, all of a sudden, it's 85. No, I swear, man, people literally I, graduate from Alex, Trump I've also, uh, every day. <laughs> I've also heard a lower number. A Trump I've, day? I've also heard a lower okay. number than 65. So we don't know what to believe, to be honest. Yeah, 45. I don't believe 45, first of all, I don't, I I, believe of all, I don't think exactly. they do have a release class. That's, That's what I'm saying. Term, like, we don't, I don't think we don't even know what's has a release truth. class. Guys, I the release class is 43.6 million. It is 43.6 million, not 110. So if you're going to put your name on something and donate money where Lewis is going to show it, don't fucking lie. Please don't. And again, okay. we just, People, we just uh, uh, donate sorry, money. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. Donate go ahead, money, Josh. but don't okay. lie. Donate with the truth. No, you can lie as long as you donate money. Let's be honest. Well, what oh, else you this say? guy. This guy. Like, someone, someone said it. Well, this guy is consistent. He likes lies for his teeth. So. <laughs> he got you there, guy. <laughs> But he doesn't donate though. Yeah, hey, I'm trying to get I'm trying to get Alex. Yeah. Out, I mean, I'm trying to get uh, Lewis out of the corner, bro. With an actual office. Man. Well, <laughs> support support Lewis. You know, well, support Lewis, Lewis by supporting guess. Lewis. Stop bet bet with uh, with uh, Fatur. Anybody stop betting with Fatur. Uh, Lewis, Lewis, because your... that's how he do. He, this is how he stops donating to the channel. Lewis, is your because he doesn't have money by your... losing those. Uh, so use that budget on, on bet. Lewis, yeah. is your parents flat getting tight with <laughs> the all Lewis those budget. pictures? Not yet, but if I get a few more, maybe I get a few more. Atta boy, atta boy. What I'm saying uh, is like, uh, what I'm saying is I like, we like one right here. Yeah, <laughs> I, I swear you the only, have the have only a, release clause I actually, far, the, only release class I actually the only release clause I actually believe it's a La Liga release clause. Yeah, yeah. They actually do have a release clause. Well, those are like a billion dollars, Alex. Because it's a, because it's I don't law. care about the price. <laughs> I'm talking about the release clause as it is. Yeah, it's, well, Spanish law. You have to have a release. Yeah, clause you have to have a release. Germany, I don't think they do. It's not required. They it's not required, it, but, it's but not like required. because club, if it, if there is a release clause, for example, the club is obligated to look at the bid. Yeah, that could be one of the uh, release clause. In in Spain, if somebody bet release clause and nobody else betting, you're obligated to sell. Yep. Neymar, yeah. Neymar, two hundred twenty. Neymar and euros. what and uh, what's his name? The rapist. 
It is early, bro. It is early in the morning. Bro. Uh, no, 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 no. Nah. Alleged, 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 yeah. alleged. Well, I, too, too okay. Lewis, alleged. I, I, I wasn't holding a candle Lewis, beside him. Lewis, you were you were trying to take like Lewis away alleged. from the corner, not take him away from yeah, the corner. Yeah, house, yeah, yeah. Take, so take my Twitter speak. account again. I don't give a shit. Alleged. Take my YouTube account. I'm done out. <laughs> Yes, no, alleged, 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 alleged. I wasn't American holding the candle alleged. beside him. I wasn't holding the candle beside him when he did it. Hey, uh, Alex, how's your shoulder feeling, man? You feeling back in form? You good? You ready to I'm go, feeling, but uh, I don't know where's the limit, and I hurt myself. So, <laughs> oh, yesterday, no, this guy. Away. Oh, Josco man. had a 43 mil release clause. We would have paid it. Josco will not come to Chelsea. Move on. Um... I don't that's, think that's, that's true. true. We just paid it I off. If that's the it's case. center back. Really, our priority right now is the center back. Should we worry about the midfield and the attack, man? Well, hey, I, I agree, but clearly, I mean, we're just oh, looking for center back. Lewis, well, I think we have a really good relationship with, with RBL. I don't think that that I don't think that that's like a specious thing. I think that matters. I think well, we will have a good crack. That's a really fair point. Them. If we this kind of situation, this kind of situation is well, very huh? similar to the Rafinha thing, right? So it's yeah. like. It's like we he might have a 43 million release clause. We might be able to pay it. So might three or four other teams, right? Well, now it comes down to the player to decide yeah. where he wants to go. Yeah. Just yeah, like we're thinking. What? City is the perfect place for him. City is the perfect place for him. If I was him, Why do you say that? Because I think City is a very good team for him, man. Okay, Fits so it's a very well. good team, it's a perfect place for him. So, no, hold on a it second. For him to sit on the bench? It's a perfect place to come play with Mount and Havis and not win anything for the next <laughs> two or four years. I mean, but if you just look at like the summer, like we paid, we paid far more than Barcelona did to Leeds for Rafinha. Rafinha didn't want to come, so they took Josh. less money because Rafinha would. No, not I'm talking sign about the. Uh, I'm talking about Gabriel. Not, yeah, not, but he's uh, making a correlation. Please pay attention. Are you talking about Guardiola? Are you talking about Rafinha? I'm talking about oh. Guardiola, but the situations are the same. Where like the, there, there's multiple teams in for the player. The player has a, a clause that can be paid. We paid more than that clause for Rafinha. He still did not want that club. Leeds accepted that amount, but he did not want to come. So they yeah. took a lesser amount because the player would not sign to come with us. It's the same yeah, thing Josh, with Guardiola. Like Josh. we could pay Guardiola oh, forty three. So could City. Now it's up to him to decide where to go. Well, well Josh, Josh, that's if that's if they have a release clause. That's yeah, thing. fair, fair, fair. Yeah, Josh, the other thing is that Rafinha is almost now persona non grata at Barcelona. They no, don't, yeah. they don't no, want he him. Plays, he plays all the time. No, no, no. Look, listen to time. me. Listen to me again. I don't believe that reports are fake. I think that it can be specious at times, but I do not believe in just invented rumors. I just don't. Okay? I don't because people... Oh, are I do. I live in if this world fucking invented rumors there's a possibility uh, well, I'm not what i'm saying American is what i'm saying is there's a possibility that actually they don't want to lose him but they obligated oh but that's what i'm saying there's they have even worse issues that they did last summer so they, yeah. they, 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 they have to get the rid of someone and he's maybe the most expendable but i guarantee you they don't want to get rid of him yeah 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 it's like they did not want to get rid of uh 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 abama uh, yang auba they did not oh. want to get rid of him but, but they, they had... had to. He was the only Sense. one that actually. I think they'll you sell can... us the young man. I think they'll sell us the young because of he's that. not going anywhere. They they want to hold him man. down now. They they They're want not to like... hold him down. They want to. They want to. Busquets they owe him money. Man. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I the, so the report that I read is that it's actually play specific. That he doesn't take people on enough, and coaching staff is frustrated with him. So maybe you guys are talking about they want to get him off his wage bill. Fair enough, but I'm talking about they're frustrated with the player, not the financial situation. Okay, well, so hey, maybe that, maybe I'm a fucking idiot, but I don't think so. You, it's all about what you choose to believe. But I see him playing all yeah. the time, so I don't know that they're frustrated with him. Oh yeah, but that was before Ansu Fadi became 100 percent available. And that could also be due to lack of options Fati, as well. What are you talking about? fati has been available all season. He has. No, yeah. I, well, no, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, but that's, that's, that, that, that's between. That's like us injury. choosing between Mountain Havertz, bro. Come it's, on. Like, Fati's like, Fati an amazing player. He came back from a major injury. You have and he hasn't that. been. And he hasn't been good all season. So okay. I don't know what point but you're trying to make. You could argue Rafinha has not been good either, though. But he's been better than Fati. He's more than him. 
Uh, I'm he, he's been playing. I, I don't know. I think if you look at Rafinha's numbers, they're pretty underwhelming for what they what yeah. they paid for him. But, but they continue. They continue to play him. That's my point. Like they continue to play him. He hasn't been great all season, but he's been playing all season. You know, we we continue to play Mason Mountain. He sucks. So what's your point? That's what we think, though. The coaching <laughs> staff obviously love him, and the, the uh, well, he's, he's, you're eight, eight, you're obviously you're the coaching sure fucking staff is wrong. Hold on. Are you sure I don't care if he's right, but they're playing him. That's exactly. That's what Moya exactly is trying to tell you. You don't get. It. Play, like it's not because of how he play. it's not because of what they want and what the club does not want. It is a two different things you arguing Are we about. Ninth or eighth now? Let me see now. Sure. <laughs> you eight years old in football, but <coughs> what I'm trying to say is look, it's a different things that what we what Barca wants and what they can. It's not oh, about no. they, they can afford it's one thing that they can afford them, they still play him. They still play him. So yeah. it's important for them, for the okay. team, for, for the Xavi. For Xavi, but, he's important. But for the club, they can see that they can do without him. Yeah. Well, who else would they play there on the right wing? Oh, yeah. we have Alonso, who's better. Uh, he's a he's a left back, though, Alex. He's a left or back. center oh, back. Oh, them. Put the egg Alba, down, Alba. Oh, what's his name? Man. Alba. Or what, what's, what's the other fucking name? That's uh, Alba's also a left back, bro. No, we're not talking, no. About, we're talking about right wing. They have Dembele. Why are we forgetting Dembele? But, but he plays. Dembele plays, though. He plays with Rafinha sometimes. Oh, good. That's what yeah. I'm saying. That's that's who they have. Is What's option. the name of the... So you guys, but if, oh, if they don't have, whoa, 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 whoa. They don't have anybody that would play for Rafinha... What's Rafinha that French guy that was supposed to come to Chelsea? Dembele. 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 No. Kunde. Cent- Kunde. Kunde. He plays. Alex, we're talking about the, the wings, wherever. Man, the attacking wing. Guys, guys, guys. But, come but, off, come uh, but he Torres. doesn't play wing for for Barcelona. Holy he plays back, right wing back. Look, these are the forwards for Barcelona. Please, if you guys don't watch him, don't fucking pretend you do. It's so obvious. Ansu Fati, Ferran Torres, Usman Dembele. Okay, Rafinha. These are the guys that play forward. Lewandowski. These are the guys that play forward. They mix it up. So, and, but, 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 wait, what when did the last Fati time and Ferran Torres play? So what's your point, though? I don't know what your point is. Uh, my point is that they mix it up, and I'm pretty sure they would like to get Rafinha off the wage bill, and they also don't think he's performing. They would rather bring in someone else. That's yeah, they all point. play, but Rafinha starts. Rafinha and Dembele, they still start. Yeah, and I swear they tried to get rid of uh, Ferran Torres as well. Uh, last okay, summer. so Rafi- my point is that like- I believe the report. My point is that I believe the report. Whether you believe it or not is immaterial to me. I don't fucking give a shit. Yeah, yeah but I don't care about Barcelona, about. man. What, 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 but you brought it up. That's not what we're talking about. Uh, yeah, we're you- talking about he plays right wing back, not winger. For Barcelona. They don't, well, Barcelona don't really play with three, a three at the play, back system. They don't yeah. play wing backs, they, Alex. They play four. They play four. They play they a four three, three three. They play a four. Right. I, mean, I watch See, every Barcelona thing, game. Every the thing Barcelona with, game. No, 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 no. I don't watch. I thought he plays wing back and wing. Yeah, it's okay. It's all good. Back. It's all good. No, he plays. They play a four three three. Traditional stuff. The thing Chelsea's with ready for Chelsea, man. He, Alex he is ready for Chelsea. He works hard, up and down, so maybe it looks like it. But he plays jacket. I think he's, I think Alex player. is probably probably feeling that because when he when we was reported about coming to Chelsea, all the talk was, "Oh, he's going to play right wing back. He's going to play right yeah, wing back." Yeah, and then I saw the report that he yeah, actually he played have, wing back for Barcelona. He would play right wing back for us. Though. I know that. Of course, he would. But uh, again, <laughs> these are retards who watch the game and think right wing back is some sort of like ninety percent defense, ten percent offense. When in our system, it's complete opposite. It's ninety percent offense, maybe ten percent defense from the wing backs. Our wing backs are our most creative players in our team. They were for the last two years, Chilwell and Reese James, and then Reese James when he's healthy. They're the most, they're our most important creative players. So, but, but, but to, like, Josh, would you say- to like poo poo someone playing right wing back because, oh, he's a, he's not a right wing back. Well, no, he's yeah, not a defensive wing back, but I that's think, not the position. Yeah, but is, is, it, is that reason that they're the most creative because they, because that's what it's supposed to be, or is it just because our white players aren't that good on the attack? Uh, no, I think that's designed for them to be the creators of, in the offense. To for them to dictate. To Reese James has the ball all the time when he plays. It's because he's yeah, our Josh, best. That's part of the formation. You know, that's what that's what the formation. That's why you play that. I don't know. For me, it's, it's, I think it's because of also it has like a part to play because of the lack of 
quality in, in our actual attacking oh. area. Okay, so let me ask you a question: Who's not quality? Who's not quality in our front, in our, in our, in our forwards? Because everybody makes uh, these blanket statements that we suck. Yeah, and but how, how is that? How is that? Fucking players suck. Okay, Carlito, Carlito, suck. How, how is that blank statement if we if our highest? Because you literally just say we don't have quality up top. So tell me because we quality. don't. Because we have one of the worst attacking records in the league. If not, tell like, me who is not quality then, please. How about some I think. Mason Mount, Havertz. Mason likes to play uh, in the games. He has to play. Yeah, but that's but that's ridiculous. Here you go, man. Now now it's like uh, I know no, no. I make a fun of that statement, but people actually believe that shit. Go on. Who else besides Havertz and Mount? Who's Havertz sucks? Mount. I think Pulis is inconsistent. I think he's he's a good player, but he's inconsistent. <laughs> okay. Hold on a second. How joint. do I know? How do I know he's inconsistent if he doesn't play? If he doesn't play. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm saying based <laughs> on. How can you become the... inconsistent without playing? You have to come on, guys. Come on, you you guys know you guys know the. I'm, All right, don't come on. No, 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 no. It's Havertz, Mount, and Sterling. Yeah. Okay. Who else? Who else? Because that's only. That's the free regular 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 regular. Now, now you could say we lack regular. like you could say we lack one v one quality up front, which we absolutely okay. do. We have no one v one players really in this team except for maybe Pulisic. Pulisic. But again, he doesn't play as much for that play. even to be an impact. So of the guys who play, we have zero one v one quality. Yeah, uh, exactly. That's my point. What's the best? What's the best qualities of front? You're going hard with that cocoa butter, man. What do you got going on? Was it that bait already? Yeah, yeah. Getting ready to go. Let's go, baby. Let's My go. question is, who, what, yeah. what is the best abilities of the front three? Uh, of, the fluidity, fluidity. of the guys what, who play? No, what do, pick what that, do, what do we want out of the ability. front three players to be? Fluidity. I want fluidity. Fluidity, being able to, to, to actually fluidity, beat the defensive chance, line. Not everybody at once. Don't... Everybody at once. Let's say. <laughs> I'll That's stop. One ah, of fucking. I'll go first. I'll go first. Not to go into defenders. Not to run into defenders. <laughs> actually, like, to, to bypass them. Oh, oh, right, bro. Raise their hand. <laughs> Alex, Alex, I think I think the obvious answer is you want fluidity and you want chance creation in the final third. The problem, Alex, is that every coach runs into the same thing, and that is you can teach midfield structure. You can obviously teach defensive structure. There's a ton of space to teach it. The final third is always tighter. The final third is always harder to teach. And you have to work on pattern play going into the final third. And if you don't do it, the teams will look like how we've looked. What Repeat I want again, is fluidity. The, hold on a second. Repeat again. Last few points as well because i got to wrap up. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the final third is the hardest position to teach, the fi- hardest segment to teach on the field. And it's also the hardest thing to execute because there's less space and there's more players in a confined space. So you have to be fluid. On and off the ball, your, your combination play has to be crisp, and you have to be able to execute your patterns and create in a tight window. That's what we want. It's just hard to do. City's been doing it every day at training for five years. That's why they're good at it. Yeah, and see how I'm going to break your little bubble of knowledge over here. Pep it's, not an analogy. Said, it's not an analogy. Okay. Well, uh, what Pep Guardiola said, what he does in training in the front three. Say what? Quote, what Pep Guardiola said about how he trains the front three players. He sends his guys to the bank, he takes out $100 million, and he goes and buys the best one. Yeah, but but, but then you guys said... No, have, no, 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 hold on. Pep Guardiola, Pep Guardiola, out of, uh, out of Pep Guardiola, most of it, not only Pep Guardiola, most of the managers do not do any kinds of training in the final third Pattern wise, because it looks, it, it, it does. I'm not saying look, it's actually based on individual uh, talent. Like everybody, he said, every every manager does that. My job is for me to get you to that position. And it's up to individual person that gets to that position <coughs> to actually score and well, go. I- I have to push back on that because I mean, I mean, look, something as simple as Pep, Pep Guardiola said that, Thomas Tuchel said that, and Mourinho said that. Okay, but well, hold on, hold on. The Amazon Prime documentary that did have training sessions on tape, they were doing that shit in the final third, dude. They were working on final third patterns to go. Well, they were Alex, definitely I'll, doing that. Alex, I'll say this: I think our final third 
play is much more difficult than cities because they have a Kevin De Bruyne who can make a line breaking pass. That's what from I'm the saying. It's, and we it's, don't. And we so our our front three are asked to do a lot more creatively because we don't have that person to play those reason, final third balls. The re- exactly. The reason why it's actual training goes for the mi- uh, defense midfield to get to that position, it's because. For the, the for the back line to the middle line, it's for them to create the best position for the fro- front line to be to advance. To then you see do, what I'm saying? To then do so this. if and they do the individual after that. So if you defense and midfield will give front three the best position for them to be uh, to to how you say to uh, show the skills, they will most often succeed. We. Do not do that for a front three. We do not put up front three in the best position to even score or show the individual talent. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, for example, what? Uh, so, whoever said, uh, I know, Daniel, you said it's a cap. It's not a cap. It's actual true. So, the patterns, you can create as many patterns up front as you want. And there are patterns. They are parents how to be on the wide position if the center backs have, uh, line up the way they want it. My point is, if the Kevin De Bruyne will give the best time to Holland to score, Holland will score. If he will put him in a position where it's the harder for Holland to score, he will not score. Okay. So it's based on patterns well, that well, get Alan, Holland to Alan, that. Alan, well, just look at Holland. Point, here's my point. But all of this because point, this, goes right go, into go, the, go, the, go. this goes into the Odegaard thing, which is why I said he's a hundred million dollar player. Is this when I watched less, or when I watched Arsenal yesterday? Oh, my God. The second half, masterclass in final third pattern play. Who was at the center of all of it? Martin fucking Odegaard. He was the one that made the final ball, but all that pattern play got the defense stretched by going out wide. And what happened? There were slots in the middle. Right in that final third, right into the 18. So if you've got a great ACM and you've got really good final third pattern play, that makes a creative attack. We just need a really good ACM. Let's go find one. (laughs) Um, no, that, guys, you middle. just actually proved yeah. my point. Yeah, it's <laughs> actual. You see Alex, what I'm saying? We're both right, Alex. We're both right. We're yeah, both yeah right. everyone's right. Everyone's right. Everyone's right. <laughs> right. Everyone's right. And no. speaking of right, Lewis, I Lewis wants to go because he wants to go. He wants to go hang out with Johnny Minerals at the game. Yeah, I need a couple drinks before this game, man. And a boy, and a boy. I love it. All right, so I'm gonna need a couple after tomorrow. Live review, same time. So let's hope it's a win. Let's hope it's a win. Big up, Matt, everyone. Matt, like, Matt, subscribe. Matt, Um, up the Chelsea and all of that. And yeah, peace, peace, big up.